Hello Lego fans. This week I'm going to take a trip down memory lane with this folder. I'm reconnected with a big chunk of my childhood. I'm so happy. I've been waiting to get hold of this from my parents and I've got it. I'm going to show you a little snippet of what's in here and then I'm going to go through one of my favourites from here. And then every week, I think, or every couple of weeks rather, I'm going to go through uh, another one and share with you some, some of the inspiration that makes me such a fan of Lego and hopefully give you some ideas about books you've never seen before. So just to give you an idea of what is in here, some old school Technic stuff. There's some brilliant models in there with the old Technic men, for those of you that remember it. We've got some of the old, old, old school Lego Ideas books. They don't make them like this anymore. They really don't. Jacob, I imagine you've probably got a copy of this or are trying to get hold of it. The kind of thing I think would really appeal to you. And we've got some other classics like this one here, literally held together with very old sellotape that's rotted away. I'm going to have to take this apart page by page and fix it. So that's what's in here. Now I'm going to start with my favourite magazine of all of those. The one that inspired me the most and I'm going to start building some of the stuff that's in here and that's this one. This is the uh, Lego Ideas Train Book 7777. It's such a good book. I actually have two copies of it. It's that good. Obviously this is my like long term one and this is my working copy. So let's go through it and have a look at some of the awesome train stuff that's in here. So this book was originally published in 1981 and look at the stuff that's on that cover. They just don't make Lego trains like this anymore. We've got the 7740 train which is one of my personal favourites and I'm planning to brick build that one. I'll probably move it onto the modern battery system rather than the original 9 volt uh, just because I like the convenience of the battery system. Uh, I do wish they had a rechargeable battery, but that's a different problem. And then we've got the 7730 train over here. Um, steam. It's all great. I had this. Uh, I had a version of this station as well as a kid. You've got this great um, engine shed in the background. You've got this. And in this book are instructions on building a lot of what you see on this cover. Obviously, except the trains because they're sets. So let's open it up and have a look at some of what's in here. Straight away you can see these little scenes they've been setting up when they had the Shell sponsorship. We've got this uh, signal being repaired here. And again, that's one of the many carriages that you can actually build during uh, in this book as it is there. Step-by-step -step instructions. For those of you who didn't build Lego during this era, era, uh, era it's called the uh, spot the difference build method where you basically have to figure out what changed between each picture and build it. That's how the actual official instructions came as well. It's not just in this book. Oh, the good days. So going through it, we just keep going through. There's a scene with this um, loading going on here. Now these carriages, I remember building several of these as a kid. Now they use this mechanical system where as they go past here, this makes them tip up and unload and then they tip back again. That's a great system. They don't do anything like that currently. Uh, but I have seen some Lego fans build um, similar things. We've got this conveyor system here. And in here, they're actually showing you how to wire up the track to do the signals, to do the track, all of that kind of stuff as well. This is the old 9 volt system with the, uh, with the, the throttle on it. Oh, it's just a trip down memory name. I love this. I love this. I'm sorry. I'm sort of indulging myself here a bit as well, but you're know, going through there's instructions on how to build that. Um, you can actually get this book online as well in PDF form. I have seen it around. I don't know how official that is, but it does exist. Um, going through here's the cargo yard with that great crane operating here. We've got these old shunting locomotives and sort of a precursor to the, the modern day sort of Meurs cargo trains and things like that with these cranes lifting up these big boxes. A little warehouse in the background. There's so many things going on in these, in all of these builds again. Another crane, another crane build. Ah, oh, it's just awesome. One of my personal favorites in here is actually um, here which is the engine shed, so where they're actually repairing these trains. 
So let's get a close up on that one. You can actually see, you know, they've, they've gone and put in, uh, there's machine rooms here, there's, there's pillar drills, um, there's trains lifted off their bases, new ones being made. This is the old, the old system. I think this one was actually a battery one. So this is actually not even the nine volt system now. This is the four and a half battery system. So these all have cables. These are old school, old school trains. Brilliant, and those classic, classic thing, um, conductor figures. And we've got a little, uh, <laughs> a little one of those rocking, I've forgotten the name of them now, but uh, the, the, the sort of manual thing. There was ones for carrying animals there with these brick built horses. So many good builds in this set. There we go, there's a circus. So some inspiration there if you ever wanted to build a circus for your city. They've gone and built the whole big top. Uh, here's the, uh, the, the, all of the clowns and things arriving there. Uh, this carriage here with the clown face on it is actually the battery box in this case. It took three of the, uh, I believe they were the uh, A batteries, the really big sort of round ones. Um, I've still got that system and that train actually in my UK collection. So I will be shifting that over here as soon as I can. What else is in here? They had some track layouts, which is always useful. We don't see much of that kind of stuff now. Uh, Lego sort of do do it a bit with the Duplo set more than the um, the bigger sets. You kind of get one or two, but they've got this great layout system here that just don't do anymore. I don't know. If, I never went to this extent of having a stencil, but uh, I've actually been talking to Trick Bricks about um, doing stencils for their stuff uh, just to help me do some layouts because I think some of their junctions would work really well. Just a side note there. Here we have some bridges. Look at those. Great. All in this book and how to build it. A great bridge. Might have to have a go at that one. This was always one of my favourite scenes as well because um, I just love the way this is all laid out. The the columns here using the Technic pieces. There's that great train again and the other bigger train up there. The 7750 train. It's a bigger one. do like the look of that one. Uh, and again, um, lots of little tips on setting up your train system. So we had these signal systems and using color coding pieces on the top there, which then matched up to your massive bank of controls down here. That's what we used to have for trains. Absolutely spectacular. So one more shot and then I'm going to wrap up because I'm waffling now. I'm just love this. I'm going to go and sit and just look through this book for inspiration. But this, this scene here, is one of my favorites. That's, that is a magic Lego moment for me. Um, there is just, uh, that is a great layout. That's absolutely brilliant. It's just so much going on. You've got the petrol depot in the background. You've got these absolutely awesome trains. I used to have that crane as well. The signal box. You've got a little sort of city building up in the middle here. You've got the ambulance. You've got that raised track. Like it's just brilliant. I love it. If you can't tell, I love Lego trains. This book is probably one of the most inspirational books for me when it comes to Lego growing up. And now I'm going to go through it and try and build some of the ideas from this for my city because I want to take some of what's in here and turn it into a modern kind of style for my city. Uh, you know, particularly like the um, the train workshop, for example, is something I've always wanted to build. Always wanted a good warehouse, a, a good. Um, engine shed, I think that looks really good. And I love these trains as well. So, so many things, I'm gonna go through there and try and prioritize it and then come up with a 10 year strategy because it's probably gonna take me that long to build all of this on top of everything else I'm trying to do. So, that's it, great book. I recommend it if you've got it. Let me know in the comments what you think. I love it, I recommend it. Um, if you're new to my channel, hit the subscribe button. I've got lots more train stuff coming up. There's actually a little teaser behind me there. You might notice this, like the same thing on two ends there. That's gonna be a very another video very soon. Um, let me know in the comments what you think about this video and don't forget to hit like and let YouTube know you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. I'll see you very, very soon, guys. Take care.